edge down a little bit. So basically, that's the technique for attaching a rivet. Now, what happens if you're attaching a rivet to a thin piece of denim? You know, this is very heavy denim, but a lot of women use like to use, and even men, but a lot of people like to use very thin, you know, very thin denim. Well, the problem with that is that you have to understand a little bit of the anatomy of what's happening when you're really attaching a rivet. What is going on here is this post here is actually hollow and you're hammering that metal up inside the cap and it's, it's, it's probably made of brass or some sort of softer metal and it's actually squishing out and imagine it mushrooming out into the cap of the rivet. Well, what happens is if you are attaching this rivet to too thin of material, you basically have too much, too much post to try to squish. There's too much metal to fill up that cap. And what will happen is, is you'll break off, the post will end up, it'll just break right off. So what you do is this, fairly easy. Let me turn my thing here. You're going to do the same thing where you hammer, this is, this is uh, you know, a double layer of, of fairly thin denim. And this is a technique you'll, you end up seeing in, in ready to wear all the time. And you may not even realize that that's what it's for. You can take some little squares, I'll, take, I'll use two, little squares of the same denim, different denim, squares of whatever you want, as long as it creates some thickness. This is a great use for your selvage pieces that you have left over. And I'm gonna stick a little hole right in the middle of that. You can see where I'm going with this probably already. Um, all you're doing is creating basically some denim washers. You stick your post side through first, then you stick that through your fabric. That has created some additional thickness there. Let's go ahead and attach this one. It takes more pounding than you may imagine. You may need someone with more strength to do this. One thing that's important is bringing the hammer straight down. If it's coming at an angle, it's not going to work right. It has to come straight down on top of the rivet. See, and I see it's a little bit off on one side, so I'm going to come back here, pound it a few more times, and that looks pretty good. So, it, that's and that's how you would do it. And no, now what you can do is if you want to, oh, and see, that's this is what will happen. If it's too thin, your rivet will just break right off because it, I didn't have enough washers. So what I'm gonna do, if it, if it broke off, was create a few more washers here. Grab another rivet. This is why having 100 rivets really is not gonna hurt you. You, it, you know, a lot of times it, you know, you might, you might use six rivets on a pair of jeans, but really it probably took you nine to, to get it to all look right. So what I'm gonna do is put my washers on my post. And you can, you can keep doing this, you know, it, it doesn't really hurt the fabric to have rivets put in and taken out and whatnot. Usually you're doing this at the very end of your jean sewing process, so, you know. There we go. Now that looks right. So, and that's all you do. And what you can do if you want to is trim the extra fabric away from the inside or just leave it. Doesn't really matter either way. Now what happens if you have a rivet where the face got damaged somehow in the application or it just doesn't look right. Maybe you even put it in the wrong spot and you want to move it even though you'll still have the hole you still want to move your rivet. Well they can be kind of tough to get out. They're supposed to be permanent. The way I found that you can remove rivets fairly easily is by using a drill. Um, you want to use a small drill bit. This is great because I can use this right on my screwdriver. It's just a regular drill bit with a I don't know what you call this, but you just stick it in your cordless screwdriver. And what you do is from the back side, you simply drill out the center. There's a little hole there. There we go. And it'll actually start to twist off and you can tell you've, you've done it. 
you stir those little hardware pieces away and if you just need to attach them in the same place you just use your same holes and your same little washers if you needed them and attach it again. So in placing your rivets, rivets can be pretty much put all kinds of places on a pair of jeans or just anywhere on any kind of a, any kind of sewing project. One place, and I've seen some people doing this online, and I would caution you against it. One place I would avoid putting rivets is on your back pockets, anywhere. Anywhere at all on the back of your jeans. What happens is, if you have a rivet there, even if it's a smooth rivet, sometimes the edge will be, you know, sometimes the edge will come up just a little bit of your rivet. You can really scratch up leather really terribly with, with rivets, especially sliding in and out of your car. The side of your car, if you have a high car, you end up sliding off the seat to get your feet on the ground. Terrible. You can really, really do some damage. Your leather sofa in the living room, you're just lounging around and you slide off the sofa and you end up putting a big scrape in the leather. So I would really avoid putting rivets anywhere on the back side of jeans. So I think that's pretty much everything there is. Well, it's probably not everything there is to know, but it's probably a lot about, oh, you know, let me talk about. Uh, the, if you're if you're looking for a really easy way, the easiest rivet to attach is probably the capped rivet, because there is nothing. The capped rivet has a smooth surface on the outside. They they come in different finishes. If you're looking for the very very easiest, a silver capped rivet is the best because there is uh, there's no finish to scratch off. It's a nice smooth surface on the outside, so the, the surface that you put, the rivet head that you put down on your, on your piece of metal that you're hammering on is nice and smooth. And it's just, it's, a, it's almost, I don't want to call it a foolproof, rib, foolproof rivet to attach, but it's very, very easy. Um, the, of course, the, ring is, the ringed rivet is the, the second hardest, and you know, the nipple one, I haven't figured out how to attach it at home without other additional tools. So that is that's basically it. That's how you attach rivets. I hope you enjoyed the show today and I hope this has been useful for you. Thanks for watching.